what's going on YouTube today we're gonna to take a look at the XSRE it's a collaboration between FreeSky and Eashin you know it's an authentic FreeSky receiver because of the hologram sticker here this is a 16 channel micro receiver with diversity and it measures in at just 20 by 20 millimeters with 15 by 15 millimeter mounting holes plus it's only 4.7 millimeters at its thickest I threw it on the scale to see how much it weighs, which it came out to be just 1.6 grams. So it definitely leaves a small footprint in the overall build. Because of its size, you can pretty much throw it on anything, from a tiny micro and even larger mini quads. Here it is, right up next to the Omnibus Micro F3, which is a 27 by 27 millimeter flight controller. The receiver arrives sealed up in an anti-static bag. We got some information here on the front. Operating voltage is from 4 volts to 10 volts, which is great as it gives you an extra layer of protection against voltage spikes. But then again, I've never actually had this issue. Generally, receivers will use either a 3 volt or a 5 volt power source. Contained in this package include a 4 pin to 4 pin connector, where one end connects to the receiver while the other goes to one of your flight controller's UART port. Some flight controllers don't have an actual UART port, so you may have to cut the connector off one end and solder directly to the board. There is a right and wrong way when using this connector, so please be aware that the positive and ground are switched around. Take a look at this diagram and make sure you have your connector plugged in the right way before powering on your quad. The wires on this connector are your typical signal ground and power, but this one has an extra wire which is for the smart port. The instructions included are pretty informative, so make sure you take a look over it before powering anything on. And last but most definitely not least, here is the XSRE. It uses IPEX connectors on the antennas, so if you ever need to replace them, it's as simple as a snap on or a snap off. The IPEX connectors are secured to the board with some contact cement, so you'll actually need to scrape this off before you can replace the antennas. This receiver uses a 32-bit STM32F1 chip and a CC2500 for the RF transceiver. One thing I don't understand is why they use such long antennas if it's supposed to be for a tiny micro quad, but then you could always switch it out for some shorter antennas. I got plans to install mine onto something a little bit larger, specifically a 190 millimeter quad. What I'm going to do is just throw some heat shrink on there and simply just, just zip tie it to the frame. Sorry about the glare. It's harder to record the receiver while it's powered on and I'm just really not sure how to get rid of the glare. Anyways, I already have the receiver binded. To my transmitter and it's currently in S bus mode and you can tell it's in S bus mode because of the blue LED. To switch to CPPM hold the FS button for three seconds and you'll see a green light blink three times and then the blue LED goes away. Then you'll see a red LED slowly flashing. This means that it's now in CPPM mode. If the red LED is off this means you held the button for a little bit too long and the receiver has gone into range check mode. In this mode, the receiver's range is significantly decreased, so make sure either a red or a blue light is slowly flashing before flying. To sum things up, I think this is a great little receiver. It's small, but it's very capable. It's a full range receiver, and it works great in both micro quads as well as mini quads. I haven't actually tested out the max distance, but I'd imagine 1500 meters, something similar to other small receivers for FreeSky. At the moment, I've only got an RSSI working for telemetry. When I clicked on discover new sensors, there was some values that popped up, but I'm still not sure what those were. Regardless, it's not too important as I have an OSD. Honestly, it's a great little receiver, but I'm cheap. If I had to buy another receiver, I'd probably pick up an XM or maybe an F FX400, which is a little cheaper, but comparable performance-wise. That's going to be it for now. Thanks for watching and Happy flying.